Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. Welcome to another free Sage tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how remittance advice works on Sage 50 accounts and Sage 50 cloud. So how to generate remittance on Sage. Go to bank accounts and record a supplier payment. So whenever a payment is made to a supplier, you would go to supplier payment up here. Let's find a supplier, let's say Bookkeeper Master Supplier, and we would record the payment. This video is not about recording payments, so I'm not going to go through this in great detail. But let's say we pay these two invoices here, we record that payment on Sage. So these two, on this date, this is the full amount, Bookkeeper Master Supplier from this bank account. If you want to know how to make payments on Sage, that's covered in a totally different video. Just go to my website or look on my YouTube channel to learn more. So let's save that payment. So how do we generate a remittance for that payment? Well, we simply click on remittances up here at the top, this icon. If this icon is not showing, you might need to right click because it could be that remittances has been hidden. So here it is here, if I untick it, it's not showing. So to unhide it, just click remittance, remittances, and it will show. If I click on remittances, it will show the payment that I've just made. So we have Bookkeeping Master Supplier. This is the amount and the date, the bank account. And I just click print remittances, choose the layout that I want, click run, and it will generate the remittance advice that I can send to this supplier for the payment that I've just made. Now what happens if you want a, re a historical remittance? You can see this table is now blank. Let's say we made some payments yesterday. If I click on remittances, those payments are not showing. Or let's say we've lost the remittance that we just generated for Bookkeeping Master Supplier. It's no longer showing down here. So how do I bring it back up? Well, this is where this print box comes into play. We make sure the correct bank account has been selected we can click on the date range so let's say the remittance was today the 20th of march 2023 nothing is still showing i need to click on this box here show printed items it will then bring up any items that have already been generated and printed so we're not showing in that list with this ticked it is now showing if i get rid of the date range we can show printed items only and then we can find our Bookkeeping Master Supplier. I can run the remittance again. And here we have it again. So this is how remittances work on Sage. The most important things to remember are the supplier payment has to be recorded. And you might have to use this feature here, this print feature, to actually bring up the remittance if it's been used before or if it's a, a, a historical remittance advice. Okay. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching. I can teach you everything and anything about Sage all for free. Just head over to my website, freebookkeepingaccounting.com. Click on free stuff. Scroll down to the Sage page, which is here. All these Sage courses, all these Sage videos are all for free. There's no registration required. No payment is needed. Just click on the links and watch the videos. Alternatively, just carry on on YouTube and go, on, go onto my YouTube channel because all my videos are also available on my YouTube channel, The Bookkeeping Master.